when you're finished, I'd like you to take a break, okay, and come back at 12.05, okay, 12.05. I'll see you guys back here at 12.05 after you write down the list of information that I put up here, the examples if you can, and here are your different subordinating conjunctions. What is sub Austin name? What? You see what you wrote up there? Sub on the other side. What did I write? New info? Subordinating. You put an OS. Yeah. Is like this is an R. Okay, fix it, please. You got it, right. There you go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had a little tag at the end. We didn't learn that word yet. <laughs> Elvis? Um, can there be more than one dependent clause? In a sentence? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're trying to work with just one, though. Okay. All right. Okay? Because otherwise we get too much information in a sentence, it becomes really long. Right. Then it becomes a paragraph long sentence. Right. We don't want those. A lot of fragments. Okay? I'm sorry. It says, <laughs> idea, I, when it gets low like that, I'm too tall, so it gets messy. It says off, right? Idea comes after the independent idea. After. Okay. After. Sorry. <laughs> I know it's tired. Holy crap. Uh, That's what's funny about me. Huh? That's what's funny about me. Alright, so take a few minutes, guys. Come back at 12.05. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
whereas, or is that just me? Whereas, whereas, whenever, whereas, the two different words. Uh, okay, so he was more subject. Mental illness. Oh, when you say uh, these two things together, <laughs> where mental illness have, have ever, that's is that where correct? Or is mental illness singular? <laughs> Singular or plural? Oh. Is there many one mental illness or is it one mental illness? Wherever. Or whatever. Yeah. Where is wherever. So I switch, I should have is. Is because it's or one. Where? Can you guys give us a couple? Sure, I was gonna ask you a while and then I was talking a while ago. Whatever you want. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Excuse me. Thank you. Sorry. Whatever we're bringing, it's fine. I'm a healthy guy, right? There you go. Me too. So there's two of us. Do you need anything? Yes. Okay. Sure. There you go. I can do that. Yeah. It's weather. And then where? 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 Oh, yeah, I did. Now, you, here's the thing, though. Mental illness has. That will make sense. But when I say many different kinds of... Where? Does that make Where? sense? Uh, is that how it It should be. So when you're explaining... Um, maybe what? when you're explaining what the object is, I'm a little bit confused about that. The object means... Okay. Uh, Part of, is it a part of the sentence? Yes. Okay. So, so Sandra, subject is the actor in the sentence. Verb is the actor. Where are you at on your, on your lap? Object. Oh, beautiful. Well, she put me over yes. here, and I was like, no, it took me one time to pass it. I thought it was three mm -hmm. times. She's like, no, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what tested it. Um, and I thought she put me over here because mm -hmm. she does. She thought and it made me more. I'll say it nine percent. Yeah, I'm just thinking it was Okay, well, yeah. 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 Okay, well, yeah. it happens. Ninety percent, and it's one. Because when it says. Boys and they have to go so, to the So, like, for instance, the, it's interesting you know, yeah. say car. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. Here's the car. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the, the car. Her. So, they change the word. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. so, the pronoun agreement and references. That's putting the other in there. Car is a subject. Crash. Well, between and this class and this, I've got two different labs. The object is the but this is book work, the other one's online, so. Someone at King Pond will back and forth. Now, if we look at your sentences. Yes, sir. Oh, that makes sense. So if we look at your sentences. Yeah. And oh, yeah, five the verb choices that you make. Let me have this card. Can the subject do because what you're data telling to do. me it does? Mm -hmm. Or have what you're telling me it has? As long as you just catch up on it before the end of the so semester. Yeah, that's what they said. But I'm trying to get it done ahead of time yeah, because I have another part I have to have done in the Spanish class. So. No, no. I've got to stay ahead of myself. That's correct. So that's correct. So I, when I, I got to balance it. That's great. So I guess I, I was trying to struggle, um, you know, with the right so, so what I want, what I want to know is this. What I, I don't want you to worry about the big picture. I want you to worry about each sentence. I'm on number eight. So, does this sentence subject connect to this object? So look, mental illness has. Okay, mental illness has. Okay. Many different uh, kind of disorders. In this case, as we have midterm, are you ready? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Nobody in Marina knows what Cornell note-taking paper is yeah, or knows anything about it. I was like, oh my god. I'm like, you guys sell paper? She's like, yeah, they sell the paper. I'm like, but where? I can't find the paper anywhere. You know, all it is is like two lines, you know, but... It's a bit distracting. They don't know. So let's look at the second. They don't know what it is. Oh, it's like, okay. It is bad. Just a type of note. Okay, that makes sense. Make sure it's about organization. You know, you're going to have to go out here and your kids. Okay. Uh, okay. Like kids. Okay. 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 You would say, in this case, your subject should be actual because the verb that you chose is causes mental illness causes a person to have a bad experience. My dog's bigger than a regular giant See how that works? Yeah, so this one, right? Mm -hmm. So let's look. You know. Oh, gosh. Oh, that guy's a German Shepherd face. So let's write this in. Yeah, it's called a German Shepherd face. 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 And um, for my step, I'm going to go and take them when they just live in a family and they want to allow a dog to size in the area. They can live a lot more inside the trailer because it's too big. Isn't that a simpler way? Like, yeah, Shadow, he's a hand down from my sister. She lived here for a while. So let's cat. When she moved, she could take Shadow with her. She's not going to be kicked. We're adapting to being in the car most of the time. How they live in a, they should set an apartment somewhere in the Virginia area and you can see where she works. Okay. Are you from Virginia? Huh? Are you from Virginia? No, my sister works in the D.C. area for the Pentagon. She's the native. She has an accent. What's your accent? I told them it's not Boston. I've been through a meeting with this people. Uh, she asked me if I would any family from Boston. Mm -hmm. I asked my grandpa to send me out. Okay. Okay. So, what's our subject? Is it psychopathology or is it the study of? Um, so she's a psychologist when she's when she's. Okay. Well, my sister is uh, holding up the wedding to. Um, but the school is so expensive, they can't afford the wedding, so they're going to call it off for a while. Mm -hmm. The psychologist. Okay. That's not there. The psychologist. Well, the what does the psychologist do? She's got free from the last picture because of the, it, it said it was the backup of the government pay for mm -hmm. employment of federal, federal employees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so she's dead free, but she wants to come up. Okay, so what's we'll yeah. the money? So they're going to look at someone. So what's the judge? 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 So what's the Mm -hmm. Well, I was telling you earlier, because it says it's because of uh, us, because he's yeah. tired. I've what said this, that? I said that before because it's mental illness. There we go. Like, if somebody sit down and they're breathing real hard and another people, person yeah. sit down, I'm like, what's wrong with you? I'm not saying that, I'm just, you can tell by the expression on the face what you're staring at them or something, and I'm like, because it's tired. You know, I've said stuff like that, but to answer back because of the look on the face, looking at somebody. 
this oh, very, tired. Well, she wants to do that, like, especially. Duh, that's why you're breathing hard and sweating. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so, what's but wrong? Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, because yeah, he's tired. Hello, duh. That's what I meant by it. That's what matters. Yeah. 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 Well, I think it's best to <laughs> give you catch attention Thank first, you. and when they're so, not needing your attention at the moment, they just take it if they go to yes. bed. Then you got time for yourself to do much of this. Yeah, and I was just trying to catch up my homework from two weeks ago on that. Thank you. Thank you so much for your help with this. What about your husband? And I'm happy to help, or if you need it. I want him to be full-time. Do it together, okay? Yeah. Let him take charge of kids. All right, folks. So now that you're back from break. Thanks. Hey. It's nice of you. This looks really painful, though. Thank you. 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 yesterday and the other side looks like this it says coordinating conjunctions if you don't have one I have an extra copy right here here we go please come and get it if you have a need for one if you weren't here on Monday no it wasn't here Okay. So. Yep, we're looking at the one on the back side. So the front side says coordinating conjunctions. The back side, subordinating conjunctions. Now, there's your list. We have two options. We can one. Put our dependent clause at the beginning of the sentence, or option two, put our dependent clause at the end of the sentence. Okay? So let's figure out which word works the best and add it to sentence number one. The cafeteria food improved, the college hired a new food manager. Okay, good. That was an easy one. Nicely done. So where am I going to put my word? Uh, before the college. Because. So I'm going to put the word because. You're going to write it out, though. You guys aren't just going to take the easy road like me. You guys are going to write the whole sentence. What? So the word is because. And is there any punctuation? Is there any punctuation? Yes. No, there's not, because it's in the middle, isn't it? Cafeteria food improved because the college hired new food manager. Not Is there any other word? You after. sure? Well, um, after. Yeah, after would work. 
after would work. The cafeteria food improved after the college hired a new food manager. Yeah. What else? Maybe he's really bad at cooking. So what about even though? <laughs> Fire him. Even though would work. Kind of, kind of the opposite. How about whereas? How about when? No, I not whereas. How about when? After when? No, when the college hired a new food manager, comma the cafeteria food improved. There you so go. You could do that. Okay. What about since? Since would work. Since the college. Do you want us to put it like? No, 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 just one. Pick one. Pick one. Whichever one you like the best. Now, listen up. If we put the word because, after, pay attention, since, any of those words, if we put them at the beginning of the sentence, what phrase, what part of the sentence follows? Which part of the sentence follows? Because, after, when, because. what? Dependent. The college hired, right? Dependent clause. The That's the dependent clause. So what has to come after it? Comma. Comma. Okay, so for now, if we just put it in the middle of the sentence, it doesn't have a comma. Oh, no? No comma. If it's in the middle of the sentence. If it's in the beginning, it does. If it's in the beginning of the sentence, we put a comma at the end of the clause. Oh. Now let me show you in writing. So with this one, if we write it, because the college hired a new food manager, comma, what happened? The cafeteria food Okay, I'll move that. That's option one. The other option is just to put it in the middle like that and not use a comma. I think it's better that way, just putting it after approved. So Number two. Damon and Lewis both love basketball. They often attend local games. Okay, now, that word works because, since, right? Those two words work. If I wrote, since Damon and Lewis both love basketball, they often attend games, right? Because they do that, because they go, it shows that they love it, comma, right? Since, at the beginning, because, at the beginning, Since the beginning, comma after basketball. Because Damon and Lewis both love basketball, comma, they often attend local games. Since, you wouldn't say because they attend often, because they attend games often, they love basketball. They don't love basketball because they go to games. They go to games because they love basketball. Yeah. Because. Because Damon and Lewis both love basketball, comma, they often attend local games. There you go. That sounds good. That's perfect. Because. Either one will work. Oh, I forgot to write it. Okay, number three. Adolf plans to get legal advice. No, since the store won't refund his money, Adolf plans to get legal advice. Okay, there's a possibility. Sure, let's try to branch out and use a different word, though. How about that? How about 
Hey y'all, plans to get legal advice. Because. Because the store won't refund his money, that's one possibility. No. Since is another. Yeah, that's what I said. But is there another word? If unless, how about that? No. No. Unless the store refunds his money. But because. There's gotta be other words that might work. Because the store won't refund his money. No, can I go on that? Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. <laughs> How about this? Okay. Adolf plans to get legal advice because. if the store won't refund his money. Yeah. If yes. the store won't refund yeah. okay. There was only another option. Because. Right. Yeah. Try to do the last two on your own. Number four and number five. Okay. Number four and number five. Try to do those on your own. All right, so who wants the Laura number four? What'd you get? Um, I put, um, I was, I was repairing the roof while Noah was fixing the fence. Good. Any punctuation, Laura? The comma, Any, um, nope. after. The answer is no. There's no comma. I was repairing the roof. Look at our rule. We don't use a comma when we put that in the middle of the sentence. Well, we could change it around the sentence, right? If you wanted to. Yeah. So tell me how it works, Amanda. I put, it. since Noah was fixing the fence, comma, I was preparing the Okay, no. that would be fine. I like the word while. I think that might work better. I don't know that I would fix the roof because someone was fixing the fence. Since Noah was fixing the fence. Unless maybe you're both working here. While, while, while Noah was fixing the fence. Yeah. You want to flip the sentences around? That's fine. You can say while. No, he was fixing the fence. Since, yeah, since he was doing that, I'm gonna do since or while. Yeah, I put both. Okay. Can you use when? When. When would work as well. You write that. I was repairing the roof when Noah was fixing the fence. All right, number five. Go ahead, Johnny. Before you write that article of comma, you should get all the facts. Perfect. Yeah. Or, or you should get 
all the facts before you write that article. You write that article, or you should get the That would be a coordinating conjunction. Before. All right. So make sure you put your name on it and pass it up. Put your name on it, pass it up, please. Depressing, depressing topic, but it's not. Thank you. It's actually a very well written essay. Okay, a very well written essay that I was hoping you would read. Okay, now you have a homework assignment in regards to this well written essay. Okay. I like my free time. Yeah, me too, but uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Kill me, Mr. Uber. Sorry, John. You can do it. Now, some of the words, this is a challenge as much as it is a homework assignment. Because some of the words you may find to be challenging to understand, you may not know what they mean. You might have to look them up, okay? Which is part of the assignment. So when you read this, if you don't understand, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. If you don't understand what it means for some reason, a word, a particular word, then your job is to look it up, not just to skip over it and pretend like you didn't see it. All right. So let's talk about the second part of the homework assignment before we begin talking about vocabulary. Okay? It says, read the attached essay. That's the one that I just gave you, or that Brian just gave you, okay? And then, it says, in your journal. Okay, I'm going to take your journals again next week on Wednesday after we do two more assignments in them, and I'm going to check them out, okay? <coughs> in your journal, I want you to write... Ten sentences. Now here is, here is the homework assignment. It's very clear though. Pay attention. Okay? You have to do this a certain way. I want these sentences to be your ideas. All right? Like personal pronouns. Like I think that, I believe that. Right? I want that. I want you to say what you feel about the subject of death that's introduced in this idea. It's not, as, it's not as ominous or depressing as you might think it is, okay? It's actually just a, it's an analysis of, of the idea. Now, here's the tricky part. You can't use personal pronouns. You can't use I, you, we, us, none of those. Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> You said, like, my idea, my idea. That's right. Like I, I. I know. Oh, my gosh. I so how do you write your ideas like without I. using personal pronouns? So you just say without I. Nobody you I. You said, like, I. So how do you do that? Think about what we've learned in class. What is the simple sentence structure? What is it? Subject, verb, object, plus a phrase. So we know, we use prepositional phrases, 
We know that we've used subjects. We know that we, our personal selves, are not doing any of the actions. So, let me give you an example. Instead of writing, I think death is scary. I might write, death makes a person scared. Okay? Instead of writing, instead of writing, um, I don't want to pass away, I might write, the idea of passing away, um, sucks. Yeah, is is not is not to be looked forward to, right? It's not something to look forward to. That might be an easy way to write. You're going to try to write a very simple sentence, okay? Can you start off with maybe sometimes? Like sometimes it's better. I want you to stick to the SVO figure as okay. much as you can. I want you to stay away from writing those phrases. Yeah. Part of the problem with our sentences is that we're too long-winded. We're telling a whole story in one sentence. We've got to stick to the basics, all right? We're just learning how to add more to our sentences by using these yeah. things. Remember? Right? But right now, we've got to stick to the basics, okay? So this is a very simple assignment. Your, your journal entry, don't overthink it. Don't stress about it too much. All I want you to do is come up with a statement that has an article. Remember? A and the. A subject, which is a noun or a pronoun, okay? A verb, which is an action, a linking, or a helping. An object, which is a noun, and maybe a prepositional phrase if you want to get crazy, okay? All right, that's all you gotta do. Now, it says that right here. See the bullet points? If you get lost, you forget what I said, and it comes down to Sunday night, and you're trying to figure out what you're supposed to do. You're gonna get out your journal, you're going to read this, you're going to write 1 through 10, and you're going to write 10 sentences. And each of those sentences is going to follow these bullet points. Number one, don't use personal pronouns. No, I, you want to write that next to it right now probably, so you don't forget what a personal pronoun is. Don't use I, we, you, us, or our. Okay? I want to write that down if you're not clear what a personal pronoun is. Then, you're going to write the sentences using simple sentence structure. You might want to write down what that is again, just to remind yourself. What is it? S V O. Subject. Verb object. Verb object plus one phrase. Okay. Then I want you to try to make use of correct capitalization. David, you listening? Capitalization. First, first word of every sentence has a capital letter, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. And the end of every sentence has a period of some a, a stop, a some yeah. kind of stop. We're not going to write questions, so it's most likely going to be a period, right? Okay. That's your journal exercise. And then, of course, we have our ten words for vocab. And guess what types of speech they are? What part of speech are they? No. No. Read them. Yeah. No. Adjective. Ah, adjectives and what's the other word in there? Adverbs. 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 Good. So notice our words have a descriptive quality this time around. Adjectives and adverbs. So how do you use an adjective or an adverb? You're describing the noun or verb. You're describing a noun or a verb. Okay, so when I use the word exciting, the exciting game. We, we played an exciting game. They don't write that sentence, they'll know that you stole it from me. Then how about unnatural? Her death was unnatural. Her hair was unnatural. How about decisive? He chose in a decisive manner. Mismatched, the clothes are mismatched. Radical, I like that word because it's actually a slang term from the 90s when I was a kid. All right, so, so in three minutes from now, you guys are uh, going to let me know what the class is like. Remember your your uh, your thoughts. Do not personally offend me. Be honest about what your it helps me to be a better teacher. I know where we going to write that. The department is coming in to oh. survey you. Okay. And they'll be here at twelve thirty. Oh, so why don't okay. you guys take this three minutes to pack up your stuff and.
I will see you on Monday. You have your homework assignment. Please don't leave. You're not dismissed. And you are an adult, so you can make that decision. But please don't leave. <laughs> Thank you. Will we be getting our quiz results back on Monday? Yes, you will. I saw a separate sign. What time do you do Okay. You can. I'm going to do it next week. Is that okay? And I'll coordinate that with you on Monday, okay? Okay, thank you.
Okay, great. Thank you. And if you forget, I'll email to remind you. Please do. No, please. No, seriously. 